The wealth of rugby players in Papua New Guinea is a testament to their dedication, talent, and the growing popularity of the sport worldwide. Indeed, the rise of rugby in this Pacific nation has been nothing short of phenomenal. As the sport scales new heights, so too do the fortunes of its top players. This growth has not only brought fame and glory, but also significant financial rewards for those at the pinnacle of the game. Today, we are going to shine a spotlight on the wealthiest rugby players in Papua New Guinea, including Sylvester Namo, Edine Gebi, Paulton Ayton, Nixon Putt, Justin Olam, Edwin E. Pop, Wellington Albert, James Seguillaro, Elsie Albert, and Nene McDonald. These athletes have not only made their mark on the field but have also amassed impressive fortunes off it. So, who are these players that have amassed such wealth from this physically demanding sport? Let's delve into it. Starting off our countdown at number 10 is Sylvester Nemo, with a net worth of $2 million. Sylvester's incredible agility on the field and his dedication to rugby have earned him not just wealth, but also respect among his peers. Next up, at number 9, we have Eden Gebi. Also boasting a net worth of $2 million, Edin's speed and strategic gameplay have made him a force to be reckoned with. Number 8 sees Paulton Ayton, another star player with a net worth of $2 million. His leadership skills and talent for teamwork have propelled him to this position. Nixon Putt comes in at number 7, with a net worth of $3 million. Nixon's tenacity and hard-hitting tackles have earned him a spot on this list. And finally rounding off our first half of the countdown at number 6, is Justin Olam, with a net worth of $3.2 million, Justin's powerful performances have made him a household name. These players have shown remarkable skill and dedication to reach where they are today. But who tops them in wealth? Stay tuned. Moving up the ladder at number 5 we have Edwin Ipape with a net worth of $3.5 million. Ipape is not just a sportsman but a mentor, using his wealth to nurture the next generation of rugby stars. Climbing to number 4 is Wellington Albert, with an impressive net worth of $5 million. His dedication to the sport is only surpassed by his commitment to giving back to the community, using his wealth to fund local sports programs. At number 3, we have James Seguiaro, whose net worth of $8.6 million is a testament to his tenacity on the field and business acumen off it. And just shy of the top spot at number 2 is Elsie Albert. With a net worth of $9 million, She's not only a trailblazer for women in the sport but also a philanthropist, investing in education and healthcare initiatives. While these players have amassed impressive wealth, one player stands above them all. Can you guess who it is? And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the richest rugby player in Papua New Guinea is Nene McDonald, with a staggering net worth of $25 million. Nene's journey to the top is nothing short of remarkable. From his humble beginnings in the small town of Kavieng, Nene has become a household name in the world of rugby, earning his wealth through a combination of on-field success, endorsements, and smart investments. His prowess on the field is matched only by his generosity off it. Nene has used his wealth to give back to his community, funding rugby programs for underprivileged youth and investing in local businesses. His success story has inspired countless young Papua New Guineans to pursue their dreams in rugby and beyond. Neen's influence on the sport and on Papua New Guinea as a whole is undeniable. His wealth and success are symbols of the growing popularity of rugby in the country. There you have it, the 10 richest rugby players in Papua New Guinea. Their wealth is not just a symbol of their success but also of the growing influence and popularity of rugby in the country. Stay tuned for more fascinating stories about sports and wealth.